Hello and welcome back to MLB The Show 23 for your Minnesota Twins franchise. How you doing, everybody? Eric M. and Twins 28 here. We are at episode 9. And uh, we got a two-game series against the Indy Storm, formerly known as the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, so we'll be doing that game. And then I think the next one we're going to do is going to be here. Uh, we're going to play the... We're going to play one of these games here with the Chicago White Sox, and we're going to showcase Old Comiskey Park. And then I think we will end the season, the episode after that, the season finale with a game at Colorado right here. So we got this episode and two more after this before we end the season, and then we'll start the playoffs. We're, we're pretty much, I think we're pretty much a lock for the playoffs. Uh, Standing-wise, we're eight games up. Guardians are catching up a little bit, but uh, I think we still, I think we still control our own destiny. I think we're going to be fine. We got the September call-ups coming up here shortly. Uh, St. Paul is ahead in their division. Uh, they are tied. Excuse me. Um, they are tied with the Mud Hens. And then in the Double A, the wind surge are just absolutely abysmal. I'm going to re revamp that roster and. Hope for the best next season, but we'll do that in the off season. So right now it looks like the Twins and the Saints will both be in the playoffs in their respected divisions. Uh, as far as injuries are concerned, the report is good. We have one guy who is still on IR, but he's done for the year. Um, he's not going to be back. Uh, he's on the wind surge, and he's got 26 days left, and their season's almost over, so... Um, he's the only one on IR. We got um, Willie Castro back, and I sent D Gordon away because he was looking good. He was not looking good, which I mentioned in the last episode was probably going to be the move, and it was. So Willie Castro's back. D Strange Gordon has been sent to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, single A. Uh, I decided to keep him rather than just straight out cut him because I figured if we somehow suffer another injury he's always available he's still on the 40 man um so yeah i promoted some catchers when um camarago camargo was um brought back from the injured list uh, i promoted alex isola to triple a and then i sent down willie mcleaver to cedar rapids um because everybody was just doing well and he was just the odd man out um he's a c potential he's not gonna get any better and i just figured i want the other guys to get playing time especially camargo uh, who has been out for a while so he's the starting catcher everyday catcher and um isola will sit on the bench backing up um our catcher down in in uh st st paul which i believe is hunter goodman who i had accidentally playing in left field i didn't realize it like oh oops so i had to fix that so that's what's going on the twins lineup is the same as it was in the last episode for now and then um austin martin's on the bench vasquez Michael A. Taylor, Castro's back. He hasn't played yet, I believe. Or if he has, he hasn't played much. Matt Wallner. And then, of course, we have the pitchers. So let's get into it. I will get the game going, and we'll see you in Indianapolis. From Indianapolis, Indiana, home of the Indy Storm, it is the Twins taking on the Storm. And we are ready to roll here. Twins wearing their throwbacks from the 2000s. Back in their golden era when they won the two, two World Series in 87 and 91. Thought I'd go with the pinstripes and the classic Twins logo, the M. So here we go. First pitch, ball one. And now looking at looking back at making this team for Indianapolis. I wish the main color 
was not yellow. I wish that was black instead. Because uh, obviously it it's hard to read the indie and the ye yellow there with the white print. So I wish I could go back and fix that. Just swap them out a little bit and change things around. But that's fine. I can always edit it next time I keep it for the next incarnation of MLB The Show. A little late on that swing. So, yes, we have two more episodes to go for the regular season. Then we'll start the playoffs. I'm not sure how many more episodes until the off season. That's dependent on how we do in the playoffs, of course. We'll see how it goes for the playoffs. Here's Royce Lewis. But I am looking forward to the offseason. This team is ready to win. That one's going to be caught, unfortunately. Anyways, this team is ready to win, but I am looking forward to maybe adding a piece or two. And like I said in an episode before, I will be in on going after Shohei Otani if he's available, if the Indians, or excuse me, the Angels um, don't sign him. And if I do manage to get him, that's going to make some decisions. Where am I going to put him in the, you know, when he's not playing or hitting, or I mean pitching, excuse me. Um, is he going to be a DH? Is he going to be an outfielder? I got to figure that out because I got a conundrum. I got great, I got some good outfielders in the outfield, and I have a great, in, uh, I have a great designated hitter, so. I'm doing a um, quick pitch because we've seen Joe Ryan pitch already. And these files get kind of tend to get big when I do gameplay. That's one thing about the PS5 I don't like is when I... On the PS4, I was able to... Any video files I could make, it didn't matter how big they were. As long as they were under 7 gigabytes, I could put them on my flash drive to move them over from the PS5 to my computer. But on the or my PS4 to the computer, but because I, for some reason on the PS4 or the PS5, you cannot put a file that's over three gigabytes on a flash drive. They say it's too big, even though I have more than enough space on that flash drive. So I've had to actually upload some files that were too big to my. YouTube page and then download them after they get to my YouTube page to my computer and then it's, it's just really weird so I'm trying to cut back on some of the gameplay so the small files are smaller as I was late on that one and that's why on some of these episodes you've seen a lot of fade in fade outs a lot of transitions because uh, I've had multiple files I've had to render together which I think I kind of like doing it because it gives the game a more realistic flow as Kirilov hits one into the gap there. It's going to be cut off, so he'll get a single. Nice hit for Kirilov. So I kind of do like having those extra files because then I can add the fade-in, fade-outs and make it more realistic and make the presentation a little better for you guys. As Jeffers steps up to the plate, he's been doing good this year. He's been exceeding my expectations. He's definitely going to be a part of my long-term plans. Not sure on Vasquez yet. I got a handful of catchers in the minors doing well. So as Jeffers drives one into the gap, and that's going to move the runners over, and Jeffers is out. But he does get Kirloff over. He'll be credited with a single. Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough speed. Nice cutoff by the center fielder. But uh, Kirilov's in scoring position, the two away, and here is uh, Eddie Rosario. As he flies one to center, and he's going to be out. So the Twins will strand a runner. And that's the inning. I do like the color scheme I chose for the Storm. I think it looks good, but 
I wish I'd gone with black as their main color and not yellow, but that's fine. I still think they look sharp. And they get a home run as they take a one nothing lead. Here's Alex Cole. As he rips one to right, and that'll be a base hit. Next game we do will be against the White Sox, and that'll be at Old Comiskey. That'll be in the next episode. I'm looking forward to seeing Old Comiskey. It was nice to see Tiger Stadium in the last episode. And we will see Tiger Stadium more often in future episodes, I hope. Ah, that one's gonna be foul. As Jiwon Bay is at the plate, hitting 270. Ground ball, and that's gonna be a double play. If it didn't hit the mound like it did, it probably wouldn't have been. Oh, I guess it didn't hit the mound. It looked like it did, but it had just had an awkward bounce. Here's Edward Julian. Right at the batter. At a shortstop. Another one that way. So no runs, one hit, nobody left. Well, here's Royce Lewis. We'll see if he can get us going here in the fourth. Down one run. Ah, oh, I shouldn't touch that one. That was bad. Surprised there's no lights up there. If they are, you can't really see them lit up up there in dead center. Ripped it, center field, but it's gonna be right at the guy. Stadium looks good though in the dark, I like it. It's a very good job. It's a little too dark in center and up there in right center. They could probably have added some more lights, but I think it looks great nonetheless. See if we get some runs here. That one is foul. Let's see here. Let's see if he throws a slide piece. Nope. I wanted to swing, but I held back. I held back. Let's see if he throws a curve. Nope. Yes, he did, and I got caught swinging. That was a check swing. Corbin Burns. He's a free agent now, I think I heard. Or, no, he's available for trade. Basically, the Brewers are open for business. That one is a hit for Steer. As the kid continues to do well. There's Kirloff. And that one's driven to right. That one's up. That one's back. That one's caught. Ah, too, not enough power on that one. It's a good ride, but not enough. Thought he had it. And a three-run jack. Joe Ryan is getting himself in, in another homer. Yeah, Ryan's done. We're going to pull him. This game is not looking good for him, so we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go to the pen here. Dylan Floral, yeah. I think we're going to bring him in. Joe Ryan is having a bad game. This is not what the Twins need right now, especially with the Guardians catching up. That one ripped into the left field and off the wall. That's Jeffers, and he will get in this time for a two-bagger. We still got time here. We're only down five. It's the fifth, so. 
Here's Eddie Rosario. Oh, God damn it. Not good. Up next for Minnesota, the left field. Got to get some runs here. Corbin Burns is good. I mean, he is good. He is their ace, but we got to we got to get going here. He's got three complete games. Well, let's try and end that. Let's get some runs in here and knock him out. Up the middle. That'll move the runner over. Ooh, he was close. I don't know about that one. Might want to look at that one. Nope, they're not going to. Here's Chiwan Bay. See if we can get at least a hit here. That's gonna be caught. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we got a base hit. Got a run in. I thought that was gonna hang up just enough, but he got it. Now <laughs> so the twins do get a run. Runner. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Woo. I thought he had it. That's high. And he's safe. 25th stolen base for Bay. That was close. Ripped at the third, ugh. Twins get one, but unfortunately it's not enough. All right, we gotta hold down the fort here, Floro. Good. All right, six inning, we can get some runs here. We're still in this. That's the one thing about, uh, damn, right at him. That's one thing about Joe Ryan is he does give up the long ball too much. In game in real life. That's one of his that's one of his uh problems. He's a good pitcher, but oh he'll uh he'll give up the long ball way too much. And it costs us big in this game so far. Ripped it. Ah, another one at the shortstop. This dude is having a game, but this time we get it in there. That might be a hit. Nope, they're gonna call an error. E6, wow. Solaire's on. He will not be stealing, because he has no speed. Steer with a drive, deep left. Off the wall. they will put two in scoring position. Loving this kid. Glad we got him back. Here's Kirloff. See if he can do something with the ball here. And he does. Off of the first baseman. No throw. One run scores. It's 5 2. I didn't trust. Uh, I didn't trust Steer to. Round the bases. He doesn't have the greatest speed. That one's going to be a ball. Here's Jeffers. He's got a double and a single. It's looking good here. Let's see if he can drive another run in. Just need to get him to drive one to the gap. And he fouls one off. He's right down the heart of the plate. Rips it, but foul. Just missed it. Turned on it. Rips it, base hit. Run a score, 5-3. Jeffers with two singles, his, set, his third hit of the game. And the Twins are coming back. 
That's all we got to do, just small ball. We don't need to worry about driving them deep. But Eddie Rosario could put the Twins up with one swing of the bat. Burns is not looking like he's going to get a complete game this time. There it goes. Deep fly to right. It is up. It is back. And very foul. Wow. Eddie missed it by just mere feet. Burns almost gave it up. Eddie fights that one off. Oh, Eddie Rosario almost knocks it out. And he pops one up. A curveball. Here's Call. Now battle. The left fielder. Allen. Callahan. Call with a drive. Deep left center field. This one's up. This one's back. It is gone. Three run homer for Alex Call. The Twins take the lead. Touch them all, Alex Call. Joe Ryan is off the hook. That's how you win games and win pennants and win divisions. He picks up Alec, uh, Eddie, Eddie Rosario and crushes it into the left field seats. And that's it for Burns. He's done. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitcher, Adrian Hauser. Bay drives one of the deep left, uh, deep center field. That's caught though. And Alex Call drives it deep and puts the Twins ahead. Leading off for the storm, the left fielder. All right. Here's Julian here as we start the seventh. Ah, swinging at ball one. And he rips a hard one to left, but it's caught. Up next to the corner, the shortstop, Royce. Here's Royce Lewis. He's having a tough game today. Still hitting pretty good, 273. And he gets a base hit into the gap. He might try for two, and he will try for two. He is trucking, and he will stop at second. A double for Royce Lewis. So gets off the schneid and gets a hit. It's 32nd on the year for doubles. And here is Solaire, who is also having a hard game. 0-3 for him as he swings and misses at a 12-6 curve. Ground ball to short. He's out. The third baseman. Here's Spencer eight. Steer. Spencer Steer. Solaire was early on that hit. To short. Steer drives it deep. This one's up. It is back. And it's caught. Ooh, I thought he had that one. That was a good hit. Just. Unfortunately, right at the guy. Oh, pitcher's getting tired. I didn't realize that. All right, let's get um, let's get Jax and Britton both warmed up. I'll pitch here to get them out of the jam. Ooh. 
If everything holds up, Floro should get the win. Ball. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball, foul. That was close. Got him. Struck him out. All right, let's see how we're doing for pitchers. They're not quite ready yet. That's a ball. One ball, no strike. Got him. Yep, two. Or one strike, excuse me. Fouled off. Keeps alive. Uh, we're going to go slider. I'm going to get him to chase one here. Nope. Ah, he lost him. Okay, that might be it for him. I'm going to make a mound visit. Rocco. Well, that's a bullpen coach. That's not Rocco. We got a lefty war going, and we're going to bring in Zach Britton. We're going to put him in. So we're going to make the move to the bullpen. And... Uh, now pitching for Minnesota. Nice. One pitch, one out, two down. Let's see what we can do here. We've got three pitches we got to work with. Fouls another one off. See if we can do one more. Got him. Got to get out of that one. All right. Go to my bullpen. We're going to schedule the pitch. Jax. You know, technically it was only two batters, but I think we'll be all right. Game. We'll see if the game tells us that we can or not. Here's Kirloff. Actually, hold on a second. Go back to bullpen. Oh, we got lefties. Um, actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to cancel, but I'll make him ready and waiting. We got two lefties. I want him to. I want the lefty to go against him. Kirloff drives it to right. Off the wall. That'll be a leadoff double. Now Alex having a good game. Ryan. Here's Jeffers. He's three for three. Two singles and a double. And he swings at nothing. Oh, crap. He missed it, and he's out. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, we don't need to see that. I hit the wrong button. I hit L2 instead of L1. I wanted to extend the, the runner. Yeah, and he got caught looking. Not a good at-bat for Jeffers. Here's Eddie Rosario. Ground ball to second. Oh, well, that was a quick inning. All right, so now we'll go ahead and quick pitch. Okay, now we're going to bring in the other pitcher. We'll bring in Griffin Jacks. And then we're also going to get the closer warmed up. And we're going to go to quick manage because I want to. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. 
And Jax gives up two runs. We're in the ninth. We need one to tie, two to win. Or two to go ahead. What are you swinging at? A screwball? Oh, great. Oh, my. That was not pretty. The center field. It was a good hit. It was just weak. Bay hits one the deep left, but that is caught on the warning track. Two quick outs. We're down to our last out. We had this game won, and then Griffin Jacks blew it. Julian's got to keep it keep it alive. Duran still warming up in the pen. He should be ready. Yeah, they're pitching away from him. Down the line, foul. If he's smart, he throws a screwball inside. Throws him off. Yep, there's a, oh, there's a change up. That was a screwball. Driven in the gap. That's going to give uh, Royce Lewis a chance. Julian's going to come trucking into second. Tying run is at second. Twins are still in this. And here comes Royce Lewis. <laughs> that was a screwball. He was late. Oh, ah, that was my fault. I hit the button by accident. Ah, I got itchy trigger finger. And a fly ball center field. And the Twins lose the opener in Indianapolis. It's not the way we wanted to win this, play this game. We had it. We came back from five down, only to blow it. Um, but that was a fun game. So next episode, we will showcase the White Sox. And um, hopefully we'll have better results. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to help out future projects, please visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash mntwins28. You do not have to help, but any help is always greatly appreciated. Until next time, peace out, and go Twins.